Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, a Lafayette High School student has turned herself in after she used a cell phone to record video of an officer using a taser to break up a fight between two girls. The video appeared on YouTube and news websites, drawing hundreds of comments ranging from outrage to support. Officials say this was the first time a stun gun had ever been used on a student in the district. But students aren't allowed to post videos and photos from school online, and the girl who filmed the incident will reportedly be getting a light punishment. An investor has bought the old St. George Hotel near the Chattanooga Choo Choo and plans to save the building and put in six condos. The building, which was constructed in 1917, is one of the few Art Deco-style structures left downtown. Also, officials say a man is dead this morning after he fell about 40 feet from the roof of a factory in Somerville. The man was reportedly working with a construction company at the Mohawk plant in Chattooga County. An investigation is now underway. The Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency is still trying to learn who shot two bald eagles in the area, so now officials are aiming to spark awareness the old-fashioned way, with wanted posters. The new posters will be distributed in post offices, libraries, and grocery stores throughout southeast Tennessee. Authorities say leads have been coming in since a $22,000 reward was offered, but the culprits are still at large. Meanwhile, both eagles are still in the early stages of recovery. A mother and father have been found not guilty in the accidental shooting death of their two-year-old daughter by her five-year-old stepbrother. Samantha and Thomas Wallace hugged supporters and cried as they rushed out of the courthouse on Wednesday. Defense attorney Dan Ripper called the shooting a horrible accident and said the case should never have gone to trial. In crime news, Chattanooga police say a man was shoved into traffic and killed when he was struck by an oncoming vehicle. Police have a warrant for criminal homicide for Stephen Lamount Williams and the death of Stephen Cran. The two were arguing when Cran was strangled and pushed into traffic on Brainerd Road on May 28th. Few people are donating to the residents of Patton Towers after they were evacuated due to a fire last week. Greg Waite, CEO of the Chattanooga area Red Cross, says most people don't like Patton Towers, and some people perhaps feel that the evacuees shouldn't be helped. Still, local relief organizations have spent more than $80,000 during the crisis. In the past seven days, they've served 12,000 meals, distributed 11,000 towels and blankets, conducted more than 600 medical appointments, and treated two cats. And in return, they say only a few donations have come in. Chattanooga State and Cleveland State Community Colleges are seeking to raise tuition again, but the increases are lower than in recent years, and if approved, students would see a 3% increase. And a Chattanooga woman has been named one of the finalists on Master Chef. 29-year-old Beth Kirby is a local writer and photographer, and now one of just 17 remaining finalists. Also, the Hot Rod Power Tour is in Chattanooga today. Hundreds of cars will be on display at Chattanooga State Community College from noon to 7 p.m., and admission is free. And finally, if the idea of driving a tank sounds exciting to you, a heavy equipment playground in Morganton, Georgia will let you do just that for $50. Take a look. These are called FB-432s. The FB stands for Fighting Vehicle. They're an armor personnel carrier from Britain, and they uh, have a pretty powerful engine. <laughs> Because Britain sells track vehicles to the public, they have quite a few businesses that do the exact same thing that I'm doing. So I saw something online, checked it out, went to England, uh, visited those companies, thought it was something I'd like to do, and three years later, here we are. Usually I have just about everybody in, in and driving within a couple minutes. So uh, yeah, the, the controls are very simple. It's automatic transmission, which is why I wanted to use this particular vehicle. So you just basically put it in drive and go.
Turning to weather, we'll see showers and thunderstorms today with a high near 83 degrees. The low tonight will be around 67. I'm Harrison Keeley. For more on these stories and updates throughout the day, follow us on Facebook and visit timesfreepress.com.